In this tutorial, we are gonna learn all about these amazing blaze burners and some of their secrets that they hold because there's probably a bunch of things in here you didn't know about blaze burners. So let's dive right into it. First of all, this is the starter blaze burner shape right here. This is what you're looking for. And this is how you make it. Four iron sheets surrounding a nether rack. Not too bad at all. But once you have a blaze burner, what do you do with it? It doesn't have a blaze in it yet, and it doesn't do much, although it is a nice little decoration block. Well, first off, you need to find some blaze. Let's spawn one right here. When you found your blaze, approach it with your blaze burner and right click it. And it will pick it up and you'll see I now have a blaze burner. But there's even an easier way to do it. If you're finding blaze, there's probably a blaze spawner nearby. And if you find that blaze spawner, take all your empty blaze burners and just hold down right click on them and it will spam away all the free blaze you could ever need. Best way to do it. Once you have your blaze burner, you can then add fuel to it to increase its heat. You can give a blaze anything that would act as a fuel in a furnace and its burn time will be the same as the furnace's burn time. You can also make these amazing blaze cakes. And when you feed the burner one of these cakes, they become super heated. So a blaze burner has four different states. They have empty state, they have the smoldering state, then they have the heated state, and finally they have the superheated state. Now the empty blaze burner, it does have more uses than just adding a blaze to it. For instance, you can light it with a flint and steel and it becomes a cool decorational piece. And then you could even add soul sand or soul soil to it and it turns the flame blue. Pretty cool. Now blaze burners, they're used to heat basins, but they're also used on steam engines. You have to heat up the steam engine from below and that's the best way to do it is with a blaze burner. Now I've got some blaze burners and some blaze sconces or whatever down here. And if we take a look, we'll see that this boiler is actually getting a little bit of heat. That's passive heat being created by a smoldering blaze burner or one of these lit blaze burners. And that will get you a minimal amount of rotational power. Not much, but it will work. Let's go ahead and ignite our two blaze burners under here and we'll see it's gone up to two heat now. And if they become super heated, we'll see that it maxes out on the heat. As I said, the blaze burner also heats basins. You can see in there, those are the ingredients to make brass, but nothing's happening. That's because it's not heated enough yet. So let's heat this blaze burner up. And there it goes, mixing away all that wonderful brass. Over here, we'll see we have a smoldering blaze burner and the same ingredients for brass. It's not doing anything. That doesn't work to cook. This here is a create minecart contraption. If you have a blaze burner on a contraption and you power it, the blaze is actually active and animated, which is pretty cool. It won't actually do anything, but it can add a little decoration to your contraptions. Ready for one of the biggest secrets of blaze burners and possibly the coolest of them all? Goggles. Look at this. You can take a pair of engineering goggles and put them on your blaze burners and they become super cool. I mean, look at that. And that is the coolest blaze burner around without a doubt. Over here, you see I have some encased fans blowing through the blaze burners. Through an empty blaze burner, you can see the particles are white. That means nothing's actually happening. But through this smoldering blaze burner, you see the particles are black. Black particles mean it's cooking, so you can use it to cook things like meats and kelp. Now the heated and superheated blaze burners, you can see their particles are red. Those are smelting particles. So you can use those to smelt things like iron and rock. And then if we come over to the lit version of the blaze burner, you can see black particles again, just like the smoldering version. That means this is a cooking fire. And finally over there, you can see we have the blue particles coming off. Blue particles are special. They're haunting particles. And interestingly, you would think maybe the superheated one would do haunting because it's blue, but it doesn't. It does smelting. So if you want to haunt something, this is a really good way to do it. Then we got blazes on trainses. Here you can see we got a blaze attached to this basic train. Well, if you place that blaze burner next to the controller like this and you give it a train schedule, you will see it becomes a conductor blaze and it can now drive your train from station to station and work it just like any other mob could. Pretty cool. With all of these smoky particles going off, I'm gonna need an inhaler potion so I can breathe normally again. 
Luckily, I built an advanced potion brewer that can brew up anything, and I made a tutorial about it, and it's right over there. So if you want to learn how to make an advanced potion or even a beginner potion or anything potion-y with the create mod, that's how you want to do it. So check out the tutorial, and thanks for watching this one about all the blaze burners and their secrets, and hopefully you learned something here. As always, everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.